flavor number two coming at you today from the Jenny Summer Collection. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Watermelon Taffy. So this flavor originally was launched with a summer collection of Jenny's that came out a couple years ago. I think it was like the State Fair collection or something like that. And um, it was released with a bunch of other yummy flavors and I didn't order that collection at the time and I kind of regretted it ever since. So when I saw this was coming back, I was really excited, had to pick it up. Typically, I'm not a fan of watermelon, but Jenny's has proved to me time and again that uh, flavors that I don't necessarily like, like in real life, um, work really well within an ice cream. And uh, while I never really could get into watermelon, the fruit, um, watermelon flavored things are okay by me. Like I like a watermelon flavored sour patch or, you know, whatever. Um, so I think that that's kind of what we're going to be getting with this. The flavor story for this one says, <laughs> so there's little watermelon seeds all over this, which is adorable, but they do also kind of cut into the flavor story a bit. So meant to taste like a watermelon sour candy. This one's for tart people like yours truly. It's got perfect puckery fruit flavor from a little watermelon and plenty of citric acid, just like the candy and bouncy character from cultured buttermilk and fresh yogurt made for us by a fifth generation Ohio dairy, which thickens the cream and makes something that is both ethereally light and extraordinarily creamy. Best enjoyed with a few flakes of pink sea salt or under a crisp bubbly soda? She's got like, you know, serving suggestions on here for this one and shit. Pink sea salt. No way. If that makes sense, some people put salt on their watermelon, right? So I guess that kind of makes sense. Now I gotta try like all these different things. I don't have any pink sea salt in the house, but maybe I'll pick some up and give it a try. Crisp bubbly soda. Maybe with like a uh, a seltzer? I don't know, I wouldn't know what to pair this with, but regardless. Um, the pint is super adorable. It looks like a watermelon. You've got like the inner part here um, with the seeds all on it and then the top looks like the rind, super cute. Uh, the flavor description says like an uber creamy tart candied watermelon. Um, I took this one right out of the freezer and I did let it sit for like a second while I was setting up my camera and stuff, but I will say that fresh out of the freezer when I like took it out and I squeeze it, there's like plenty of give to it. So that makes me think it's gonna be a pretty good one to enjoy straight out the freezer. You shouldn't have any trouble like needing to thaw it or anything. So here's what we got on the inside is a lovely, like baby pink color. I'm not getting much of a scent out of it. That's okay. Uh, let's go in, let's check it out. And this is, you know, just one flavor. No mix-ins, it's just it is what it is, all right? So let's go in and give it a shot. It is incredibly creamy. Spoon just dipped right in there. Oh, how bizarre. Okay, so uh, when I was, you know, investigating this flavor, I heard a lot of people describe it like, um, like watermelon Laffy Taffy. And I can see where they're coming from with that. For me, it tastes sort of weirdly like, um, like watermelon bubble gum, like a bubble yum or a hubba bubba. Mm. But like in the best way, it's so yummy. It's very refreshing. It does have like that frozen yogurt consistency. Yeah, and it just has that flavor like It's so bizarre. It's not quite as tart or as sour as like a Sour Patch Watermelon. There is like a level of tartness, but it's not sour. You know, it says that it's got like a ton of citric acid, like the sour candy, but like it's not, this is not a sour flavor. It's a little tart, but mostly it's just like this delicate watermelon flavor. It's really nice. 
Mm. But yeah, to me, it tastes just like that first few bites of like hubba bubba when you're when you're chewing gum. That's exactly what it tastes like to me. I think it's delicious. Really interesting flavor. I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. And I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble going through the pint as I'm sitting here eating most of it like, during my lunch. That's interesting. She uses pumpkin extract for color. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, for a rating. Considering uh, this is just like a plain flat flavor, no mixins, no swirls, none of that stuff. But I literally cannot stop like, scooping into it as I'm doing this review. It's really addictive. I'm gonna go ahead, I think give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. It's really good. I wanna keep eating it. I'm gonna force myself to stop. I wanna keep eating it. I can't wait to try it with some sea salt on it. You know what? I don't have pink sea salt, but I do have like regular flake sea salt. So you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna do it. I have some finishing flake sea salt here from like baking. I make a good salted caramel around the uh, holidays and this is what I use to top it off. So let me just like, just a couple little, little pieces in there. All right, let's try. That does take it up a notch. Hold on. I like salt bay this ice cream here and all over myself before all of it. Okay. Mm. Damn, that is so good. With the salt at my bum, but up to like an eight and a half. Mm. I was also thinking too how bombastic ice cream cone, the one that I reviewed last, could have been elevated by just like a touch of sea salt. So I don't know, maybe there's something to be said about adding sea salt to your ice cream. Uh, but yeah, I, th wow, that's really yummy. So yeah, get yourself a pint of watermelon taffy, pick up some sea salt and like throw it on there and, uh, you know, and see how you like it. I think it's a winner. So for me, this one's going to be an eight out of 10. That's the scoop. I'll see you next time. Bye.